Greetings everyone. Wanted to bring you the Relax and Sleep um, application for the Android market. Oh, so let's get right into it here. So Relax and Sleep functions to essentially help you relax and uh, possibly fall asleep. Now it has about 35 plus ambient sounds all listed here. Here is the main volume for all of the presets, I mean not presets, the ambient sounds here. Um, they each have their own uh, individual volume um, setting which you can increase the volume naturally or you can decrease it independent of the main volume sound but this essentially sets the volume for all of them over here which I'm not sure you can see hang on is it going to focus? yeah which I'm not sure you can see because uh, I have the bright light here this is uh, magic wand which activates the magic shake function which um, and it works well uh, where you activate it and you can shake your phone to enable a random sound so it will just pick any random sound I would do it for you but because I shake it so hard I end up um, activating five sounds at once um, so I'm not doing that and here is the timer which just shows you whether the timer is on or off um, so if we go into the menu settings you see presets set timer mute preferences help and about and obviously quit which allows you to exit the application so let's focus on presets this allows you to save um, let's say you've combined two ambient sounds together which you're able to you can uh, combine more than three actually um, to have your own sort of um, you know master ambient track um, you can save it all in in, uh, in the presets uh, with the freeware version which we're focusing on in this uh, review you are able to save four um, also with the freeware version um, it's named preset one as opposed to allowing you to um, you know name it summary breeze or any sort of name you'd like um, that functionality comes with the uh, the Relax and Sleep Plus, which is a separate review. Um, and since I mentioned that you can combine them, um, let's do a small demo here. Uh, normally, I like to combine Summer Rain and Thunder Clouds, which you can see sounds like that or you can combine soft beach oh. obviously not have it that loud and seagulls if you'd like so you see you can combine and so if you like and normally the ambient sounds are in alphabetical order but if you notice here um, the the stars are highlighted in blue is because I have set them as my favorites the ambient sounds so when you encounter a sound that you like once you add it to favorites it moves that uh, favorite to the top of the list so that um, whenever you open the program you don't have to keep scrolling on to find your your favorite preset because it's all and has all been moved to the front so let's go back to the menu 
to focus on setting the timer. Now the timer, or timer or stopwatch, whatever you prefer, allows you to set a countdown time where after when it reaches the countdown time, your ambient sound, which is looped continuously, will fade out um, automatically for you, allowing you to save your battery. Um, and if you'd like, you can also set to play alarm after countdown, um, which you can set over here in the alarm tab. And the alarm functions to um, allow you to wake up to one of the sounds. Um, but it's not a custom sound. Um, custom sounds aren't, uh, you can't set your own custom sound in the freeware version. If you like a sound, you can contact the developers and they'll see if they can incorporate your custom sound into the application. So back to the alarm, you can set the alarm, you can um, make the clock AM or PM, or you can remove the timer. Um, that too. Obviously you can mute quickly any of your sounds. Um, the preference here, don't have it um, active here because I don't have the uh, paid version, which is the uh, Relax and Sleep Plus. So when you press the preferences in the freeware version, you're, you're instantly given a uh, little message saying, hey, you don't have the expansion pack. And it tells you um, not only if you want to support the developer, which I'm planning to do soon, um, you can add one custom sound for the list. You can choose a custom alarm tone. You can expand to 12 preset slots, which before I remember, we only had four. Um, you can auto load and play preset on start. You can have a custom begin volume. I mean, you can do so many things. And then you're, um, and it takes you, if you press upgrade now, it'll take you to where you can purchase the Relax and Sleep Plus. Uh, let's see, help and about. If uh, you forgot, um, if you forgot what what button does what, or what setting does what, or you just want a refresher, uh, pressing help and about gives you that little refresher telling you what you can do, what you can do, what exactly does the sleep bot do, um, the magic shake which we talked about in this video. Um, also tells you what happens when you receive a phone call. Um, here's the support information. If you encounter any issue and you want to contact the developer, you can, or you want to send some fan mail, you can send it to their email address. You can follow their Facebook, Twitter, or you can just check the developer updates, which is nice. Um, for stalking, I guess. If something's wrong, at least you can find them one way or another. But as I said, it's a free application and a great free application. Um, so, I mean, any issues, you know, it's not that huge of a deal, I don't think. Um, and, they're, and they're more than willing to f help out. Um, relax and sleep does support um, moving to the SD card, uh, which you can, which I'll show you um, how it looks like in a, in a moment. But as far as the application goes, that's pretty much it. So let me quickly show you how to move it to, to the SD card. So let's quit out of here. You go to settings, you scroll up and find applications, then manage applications, then you scroll, scroll, 
until you find oh, relax and sleep and then normally it would say here sorry normally it would say here uh, move to SD card um, I've already moved it to the SD card which is why you see it says move to phone if you want to take it off of the SD card and move it back to the phone storage um, but if you first install the application it will say move to SD card you press it uh, wait for a few seconds and then after you'll see move to phone so I hope that's been helpful if you'd like any other type of reviews or any random application that you would like to know about just let me know take care